this is the spoon only modifier in my FPS game. And although, you know, you may be thinking, looks like a pretty dandy game mode, the problem is that no one, and I mean literally no one, finds this game mode fun. So let's fix it up into a game mode with some ridiculous mechanics. And then we'll get some reactions from you guys at the end. Load. Yes! No. Holy moly! Type number five. Yes. So, let's do it. Now, if you have no clue what the heck I'm talking about, this is Paint Warfare. And it's kind of like the grandchild of games like Quick or Unreal Tournament, with casual matches, insane verticality, climbing, jetpacks, and grenade jumping. So why is the spoon a bad mode? That boils down to three main reasons, but the main one is this. This is the best strategy. If you've ever dipped your toes in game design, you'll be familiar with the concept of a gameplay loop, which is essentially the main set or loop of actions you take in playing a game, or in our case, game mode. Why is this important? Well, if there's not a lot of choice of actions you can take, or the actions are just plain boring, well, then you have a not fun gameplay loop. So to fix our spoon game mode, we need to make more actions our player can take and make them less boring. So let's get into it. Currently, the spoons are automatic, one shot, and there's no strategy or any kind of decision making aside from how you play your abilities. And a big part of that is that your only option for combat is to run after your opponent, hold down the left mouse button, and beat them with a wooden kitchen spoon until they die. So I think the first thing we should start off with is some kind of alternate fire mechanic. Now there's really two routes we could take. One of them is what games like Valorant do, and they give you two fire modes. So one is like a quick swipe animation. One enemy and then the other one is a stab animation, which is usually one shot and has a really long cooldown. So it gives you some kind of choice. And obviously the stab is riskier then, because if you miss, well then you're stuck with a long cooldown. But I think there's a route we can take, which is a lot more fun. My idea is to have two use cases for the spoon. So one is as a melee weapon, and the other is as a projectile, which you can lob at enemies like a spear. But before we do anything, we need some juicy animations. Now, I love copying. I mean, being inspired by games like Valorant, because unlike me, they have a lot more ideas and talented developers. And of all the FPS games I've played, they have some of the nicest knife animations. I mean, look at this. So using their default knife as a reference, I made two swipe animations which we can alternate to really immerse yourself in the experience of beating the living shit out of beans and this hilarious throw animation where you love the spoon, but we'll get to that in a second. Now contrary to popular belief, a trick FPS games use for dealing damage with knives isn't dealing damage on the path that the knife travels, despite what the scrapes that they leave on walls in-game make it look like. Smoke windows, yeah. But most of them actually just sort of lie to you and detect hits by shooting an invisible ray out of the center of your face, which lines up with your crosshair, or sometimes even multiple, so you can miss a bit, and then they can check if there's an enemy. And although it looks hilarious in third person, it's actually pretty intuitive because you can point at a target and click. And what's great about this is that non-projectile weapons in FPS games use the exact same technique, including guns in Paint Warfare. So using a pretty handy keyboard shortcut, I pretty quickly put together the logic for the swipe, and I made it do 80 damage, which is equal to the damage of the kick, but just with longer range, which is enough to sneak up on people and beat them until they subscribe to the channel. Now onto the exciting part, which is the throwing. Now I'd like to ask you a question. Carefully examine these three clips. Now, based on these animations, where do you think the projectile exists from? Despite what these animations look like, it's timed precisely so that even though the projectile exits from the center of your face, so it actually lines up with the target you've aimed at, it looks natural. So I put together a charge mechanic to control how far you throw it, and we used the throw animation and let's test it out. Heck yes. Now since it's going to be a physical projectile with flight time, 
and your enemies can move pretty darn fast, hitting people with this is going to be a challenge. So we need some way to reward people who use this alternate fire mechanic. Aside from being able to hit enemies from way further away than they can hit you back, I made the hit collider for the spoon pretty generous. Even bigger than the spoon itself, so your odds of hitting your enemy are a lot more generous, but still nowhere close to the size of your mob. But chances are, even if you're the most talented spoon thrower in Paint Warfare, you're probably gonna miss most of the time. So based on this, we're going to need a pickup mechanic, because... Well, luckily though, we already have an interactable system from this devlog, check it out, where we cloned the iconic Minecraft Hunger Games mode, so I just repurposed a bit. And there we go, you can now pick up your spoon. Now, if you can't get your spoon back, or your opponent picks up your spoon, which is actually a pretty smart strategy, and you had no way to defend yourself, well, no one's throwing their spoon, and this entire mechanic is pointless. And so, let's make it not as punishing to not have your spoon. I found out if we play the spoon melee animation, but just without the spoon, it kinda looks like a first-person view of my mom in high school, when I got not so good grades. So, I made your fists do equal damage, and now you pretty much have no reason not to use the spoon throw, when you have the chance. Perfect. Now I have some even more exciting plans for the spoon, but before we get to this, we need some really satisfying sound effects. Now I messaged my friend Vern, who does the sound effects for my game, and he said no. So we're, we're off to a great start. So I made them myself. I made some cool sound effects for swinging the spoon, throwing it, hitting players, and a new secret mechanic, which we'll get to in a second. Now on to the golden spoon. So, after testing with my brother, I realized that there's not a lot of novelty in things that can happen, unlike the other game modes. Like for example, the infinite ability game mode is fun, because stuff like this happens. In the double XP game mode, it's fun, well, because you rank up faster. And in the juggernaut game mode, one player is randomly chosen, and their HP and size is increased. I'm just playing with you, it's completely broken. But then there's the spoon game mode, which even with all the changes we've just made, still pales in comparison. So let's make it even more interesting. And so I made the golden spoon. The spoon is massive, it does double the damage, it one-shots enemies, and if you throw it, it's a seeking missile that annihilates enemies. I'm not kidding. But to balance this out, I wanted everyone to target you if you have a golden spoon. So if you have a golden spoon, I put a massive arrow above your head, and what happens is everyone gangs up on you, and you can drop the golden spoon if you die. I made a quick pickup system that can swap your spoon with the golden spoon, and there we go. And to be completely fair, I think this is about as much as we can do with this game mode. We've pretty much reworked the absolute shit out of it. I don't think there's a lot more we can add, unless you guys have ideas. So, let's see some reactions. Load! Yes! No! Holy moly! I, number five. Yes! By the power of God! Oh, oh, I just play and I died. Why do you have- Why do you have- Holy moly! Holy moly! Don't go, baby! Go to the spoon! It's not even funny. I don't even have my spoon anymore. I don't know where it went, but I'm- Oh, the spoon is like the more it's charged, the harder it damages. I hate I'm going you. so fast that I can't even tell what's going on. Oh. No, I fuck. just got 10 kills. Holy fuck. That's me. I, like just I, got, I went from 6th place to 3rd. Nay, hey, nay, hey, I, will, I will murder you. I don't know. I'm bored. Wait, no, you're on my team. Oh, my God. God. Why, why, why am I still saying yeah. Dang. I hope your parents die in a car crash. I hope your oh, hey, grandparents hey, 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 Worst supersonic, uh, no, super saiyan. Uh, <laughs> worst super saiyan spoon. That's Marek, of course it's Marek. What? Of course. Spoon is life. Yes, spoon is life. This fun. Oh, 
Dude, well, out of the area. Fuck you, banana. Get back here. <laughs> there are so many health bags. I'm sorry. Overall, I think we definitely exceeded all expectations.